Hello everybody. I want to make a quick video about rice. Very quick video on rice. Rice could be used spiritually in your everyday practices. It's something that's in everybody's pantry. It's something that you could use um, to bring prosperity, love. Um, it's also used for cleansing. So here are a couple of ways that you could use rice. Now, um, rice is sacred to the Orisha Obatala. So what you could do to make a spiritual bath to him is you could take rice and the first um, water from the rice. You could use that in a spiritual bath. So you could take the rice water. You could take goat's milk. Goat's milk is really good to use if you have um, out the ojo, if you have the evil eye, if you have gossip, if you have rumors going on, and you just want to cleanse and purify yourself. Goat's milk is amazing. So you have the rice water, you have the goat's milk. Um, you can also use coconut milk. Coconut milk is very good to use um, for cleansing and purification. So this milk, this bath is called the Tres Leches bath, the Three Milks bath. So you have the rice water, you have the um, goat's milk, and the coconut milk. You mix those together. You can add Florida water. You could add uh, rose water. You could also add um, ruda, uh, agua de ruda, ruda water. Ruta is very good for cleansing, purification, bringing about protection. You could add those as well to give it a beautiful scent. And you bathe in it. You could add, also, if you have cascaria, you could crumble it up and you could add that as well. Very good for cleansing, purification, for, um, you know, just creating a clean slate. So you could do that bath for a total of eight days. And um, it's really good, like I said, to bring about protection and peace. As you're bathing in the bath, you light white candles around you and you imagine peace. You imagine um, prosperity. You imagine just coming into a clean slate and you pray. Whatever deity you pray to, you know, if you're calf, you know, if you if you're still Christian, Jesus you know, a saint, if you're into saints, any deity that you're into, just pray and just ask for, um, you know, that, that clean slate, peace, protection, cleansing. And like I said, again, eight days, you do that bath. So that's one way to use rice. Another way you could use rice is making money rice, which I did a video on that. You could do love rice. And that's to bring love to you. You could do um, black rice, which is for protection. Now, <clears throat> I'll give you the recipe for each one. Green money rice, I already did a video on that, so I'm not going to speak about that again. But if you want to check it out, I'll have money rice. I'll have that in the, in the um, comments area. But love rice, what you do is you take the rice. You um, mix red food coloring and herbs that are sacred to love. So you can use dragon's blood, you could use hibiscus, you could use uh, licorice to sweeten and to dominate. You could use calamus to dominate. You can also use catnip. I don't think I ever talked about catnip, but catnip. Like, if you ever gave a cat catnip, it's kind of like a psychedelic for a cat. Like, it's, it's just drawn to catnip. So, in essence, when you add catnip to love spells, it's like it'll have that ability to draw that person to you. He'll be, like, magnetized. <laughs> so, definitely, you could add herbs like that into the mixture and just put your intention into it and pray over it. Now, protection, protection, uh, rice. You just take the black food coloring, the rice, and herbs that are sacred to protection. So you could use uh, cinnamon, 
you can use clove clove if you have a gossip cinnamon and clove I did a video on that a while ago but definitely I love those two herbs that are, those are definitely my go-to's because they're all purpose you can use them in a lot of things uh, let's see, you can use cinnamon, you can use clove, you can use dragon's blood is also a very protective, um, protective resin. Any herb that is uh, sacred to protection to you. And then you just mix it up and you add your intention into it. Now if you feel like you have like, um, you know bad spirits or something around you you can use herbs like asafoetida asafoetida is, is the best herb to use in that kind of situation the best it smells horrible but it does get the job done so that's what rice is used for i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll be coming back with another one bye you guys